Occasionally, I do have these very surprising and interesting experiences during my travels. And I have to show you one of them because this is quite fascinating. We've come to a little place called Little Vienna. And in Little Vienna is this amazing massage school. Now this massage school is run by the people who are sponsoring me to be here. But it's an old monastery and I have to show it to you. Now this monastery right here is from the 1400s and they bought this monastery and made a massage school out of it. Now what I'm going to do is take you inside here because it's unbelievable and you're going to just enjoy it. And I had Fred actually talk to me about this. And so we're going to go inside and I'm going to cut this up into different pieces so you can actually see everything that Fred was talking about. But this is the monastery from inside and we're going to go to the different rooms of it and he's going to talk to us about it. But there's so many special details. I asked him to do some very specific talking with us about this. Here's some, well, first of all, lovely candles that you enter here, which are about three feet high. This is the dining area that we're going to be eating in. Um, and it's quite spectacular. You can see all the wood that's stacked here because this place has natural fireplaces in it. And then out here, which is sort of the little courtyard to this monastery, is just unbelievably beautiful. Um, and uh, this courtyard is where you go to enter my room by going up this stairwell here. And you go up the stairs and then you walk across over to that doorway there and inside there is this spectacular monastery. So I'm going to actually go up here and show you some things but we'll go there from the inside because I want to show you what it takes to get to my room. <laughs> I'm always talking to myself, but I have a camera to make it look like I'm not insane. No, you're talking to a big public. I am. You put this on your webpage. Yeah, absolutely. Would see. Yes, absolutely. This beautiful place. So, um, so Uli here, mm -hmm. her and her husband are the two who run and own this beautiful mm -hmm. place, and they're the two <laughs> creative people who put it together and graciously invited me to enjoy it. So we're going to walk up. David. Thank Thank you. Excuse us, we're going up please. to my room. Yes, so when you walk in to the main door, then you come up this stairwell here. Of course, these are just absolute beautiful stairwells. Old, very old wood. You can see how it's all worn down. And that's from centuries, literally, um, living here. And so we come up to here. And then from here, we have our fireplace, which is just, I got a few coals in it because it's still nice and warm, but we'll use it this evening. And then here is the door, which is quite spectacular. And this is the door to my bedroom. It's made out of steel. Right next to it is this amazing fountain just put into the wall here. It's just beautiful. So then when we come through there, we come into this first room here that literally has the old frescoes. This is centuries old and you can still see the painting of the frescoes on the wall. And it's just unbelievable that somebody owns this and can actually live in it. And it's just beautiful. So you come into these, this room here, then you go down into the next room. The next room again is just a simple, it's an absolute simple monastery cell. It just has a beautiful little bed like that, the carpet, the little place for your clothing, and then some niche in the olden times where they probably did have a religious statue. Then you come through here, you can see the old beams in the ceiling, and then in here is my bedroom. Now here's another fresco on the back wall, the bed, 
you can see the candelabra on the left hand side on the right side is this uh, beautiful little light let me see if I can turn it on just like that now the fresco here is a recently painted one it's not the old original one but it still adds to this beautiful feeling of how ancient this is but the exciting thing also this is where I'm sleeping for the next couple of nights the exciting thing also is if you walk up through here you come into the old monastery room of course everything is simply made out of wood here and you have this old altar with this king's chair this is my office for the next few days he has bought and restored so many beautiful old paintings. These are all real um, oil paintings and they're all quite old. He's bought all these ancient sorts of um, furniture and architecture. There's a beautiful old wooden chair. This actually is a stone table. It's heavy as could be with stone pillars. And it was actually used to make candles he also has put on some beautiful old antiques that he found around. This is an old letter box. And then you have these very old books with this very old crucifix. It's quite beautiful. And then over here, these are those types of gargoyles that you would find, you know, in buildings in the old times. And so he found all these things and bought them and put them into here. This place is just spectacular. There's my view out the window with the old lamp onto it. That old lamp is literally um, made out of leather. It's a leather um, face to it so that the light shines through it. And this is where I'm going to be living for the next few days. So I'll be taking more videos as I go along and then um, putting them all together to show you this spectacular place that I'm living in. I uh, discovered this house uh, 20, 25 years before and was in love in this moment. And take all my money and, and restore this house. And it's a very old house. It's the oldest house in Wiener Neustadt. This is a small city where we are now. And if I introduce them uh, to, to students and they have an imagination how old this house is, I always tell the story. We all know Christopher Columbus. It's also for American an important man because he invited, uh, uh, he, he, in, he find America, if I remember. Mm -hmm. And I have papers 20 years before this moment, Christopher Columbus see America for the first time. This house was sold, was sold, and we have a paper written on leather about this time. And you can imagine how old this house <laughs> 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 Great. And where did you find all of the beautiful pieces of art that you put in it? I give, the first time in my life I give me time to find this. I have no, no hurry. I, at first I restored this house and afterwards one piece after the other I, I, I found in, I would say, all over the world, mostly in Austria, but I will find them. And if you want, I show you some main places. For instance, uh, the old apotheki yes. is, is, is a Greek yes. uh, thing, uh, where the students are making the, their special medicaments, natural medicaments for their own. And this is the other thing. If you make medicaments for your own and take it for yourself, mm -hmm. there's the other uh, other thing as you buy it in the in the, in the shop. Right. Uh, and therefore, uh, I, if you like, I show you this old. I absolutely want to say everything you just said in German. Yes, because it's, it's much more easier. Yes. Uh, also, dieses Haus habe ich vor ungefähr 20 Jahren entdeckt und habe mich sofort verliebt in dieses Haus und habe alle mein, all mein Geld und alle Schulden, die man mir zugestanden hat, äh, gemacht, um dieses Haus wieder belebbar zu machen. Es ist einer der ältesten Häuser überhaupt südlich von Wien, das älteste von Wiener Neustadt. Und äh, Uh, es ist, wenn ich das Haus vorstelle, um ungefähr eine Ahnung den Menschen zu machen, wie alt es ist, dann sage ich, 
bevor Christoph Kolumbus Amerika entdeckt hat, haben wir ein Papier geschrieben auf Ziegenleder, wo dieses Haus zehn Jahre vorher das zweite Mal an einen bekannten Stadtrat verkauft wurde. Und das ist also noch viel, viel älter als dieser, dieser Moment. Und wenn wir durchs Haus gehen, finden wir verschiedene Stellen, die wir hergerichtet haben, um den Studenten, die hier medizinische Berufe ergreifen und lernen, studieren, hier das Leben angenehm zu machen. Und da ist vor allem unsere Apotheke, die ich jetzt da zeigen möchte, wo die Studenten zum Beispiel selbst Medikamente, selbst in den Wald gehen und auf die Wiese gehen, sammeln Kräuter, sie hier mischen und für sich selbst verwenden. Das ist eine andere Wirkung, als wenn man es in der Apotheke und in der Drogerie kauft. Das ist das same in, in German. Wonderful. Let's go to the apotheque. Yes. I'd like one to of the main points, if you like. Yeah. But in this moment, it's, uh, we, we start cooking for, for the evening. But I think you will see. Yeah, it looks also great with the, with the with food, the, with the yes. fruit for the, for the evening, for the seminar. But if you, you go in here, you see all these things. I've, I told you before, I uh, go to several towns in Austria and find this old apotheke. Yeah? This is, you see, all the glasses are very old ones. All of these are the individual drawers that would have had the different natural medicines yes. that they used. Yes. Yes. And then these are the old original glasses that yes. they would use to make their traditional medicines. This is absolutely very unique, spectacular, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and these are very hard to find anymore. Yes, yeah, it's very yeah. And what about this wall here? Yes, uh, uh, oh, okay, I, I hope maybe it is enough. This is, uh, it's from the time that the alchemists, alchemy, you know, the people to try to, in, in former times, middle age, find uh, gold and silver, and you see here this called Periodensystem, that the, all the, the metals are written here, uh, play and, and, and so on, and silver and gold, the important and, and uh, 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 making rich material, they, they hide behind mirrors because they are afraid if they find how to make from play, plum boom, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. gold and silver, they have nothing more to do and they are very anxious to on the other one side, they want to find the, the, the method to make gold. On the other side, if they, they make, can make it, it's over. The job is over. <laughs> and therefore, they hide this gold and silver uh, behind mirrors. Okay, can you say that in German? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> das, uh, hier, das ist das Periodensystem, uh, das natürlich nicht so alt ist. Und da soll dargestellt werden, dass die Alchemie früher sich bemüht hat, ja eben aus unedlen Metallen Gold und Silber zu machen. Und das war, auch eine, das war einerseits der Wunsch der Alchemisten, andererseits haben sie auch eine panische Angst gehabt, wenn es ihnen dann tatsächlich gelänge, Gold und Silber aus unedlen Metallen herzustellen, ist ihr Job over. Dann haben sie nichts mehr zu tun und deswegen die Idee, Gold und Silber zu verstecken hinter einem Spiegel. Einerseits wollen sie es, andererseits, wenn sie es dann haben, ist ihre Idee erfüllt und sie haben nichts mehr zu tun. Das ist eine alte äh, Auslegung der Alchemie. Ne? That is beautiful. Ja. Is there some place else you want to show me? Yes. Let's yes. go. Yeah. I will take my time walking around here, videotaping it later on, yes, yes. but it is so spectacular, I want to take the opportunity of having Fred explain to us. Look at this amazing table, very solid wood table, it's beautiful. And how did you get this table, Fred? Yeah, this table is, is, is a fake. This table is original a bridge, a small bridge. I bought this in, in Tirol and it was, was uh, over a small river and we uh, bought this, this small bridge mm -hmm. made of, of old, old wood, oak wood, and uh, prepared like this, make, make also chairs of the same material, cut this piece in two parts, you see here we cut, how to bring it here in the 
in this refectorium, we call this refectorium because in former times there was also a monastery in the 16th century, a monastery for men uh, living here. Uh -huh. And, and uh, we think uh, that the, 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 the monks of this time have here the dinner and lunch and all these things. Mm. Therefore, we, we also are sitting here for, for, for the meal, for seminars, and, and if I introduce mm. the house, we make it here. And can you say that in German? Yes. Uh, dieser, dieser David fragt sofort, was ist dieser großartige und große Tisch? Uh, das ist also insofern ein, ein kleiner Trick dabei. Wir haben nicht so einen großen Reflektoriumstisch uh, gefunden. Den gibt es einfach nicht so in dieser Größe. Und wir sind fündig geworden in Tirol, wo ein Altwarenhändler eine Brücke demontiert hat, uh, eine, eine Eichenbrücke in einem kleinen Fluss. Und diesen, diese, diesen Riesenbalken haben wir dann präpariert, liebevoll abgeschnitten und zum Tisch umfunktioniert. Nachdem ein kleines organisatorisches Problem sich ergeben hat, diesen, diese Platte hier hereinzubringen, haben wir zwei Teile schneiden müssen und haben ihn hier äh, hereingebracht. Und ebenfalls neu äh, hergestellt haben wir diese schweren Eichensessel, die einfach gut dazu passen. Okay. Uh, here you see, uh, I don't know the English expression, the cannons uh, shooting with the old one. Oh yeah, the cannonball. Ca cannonballs made of stone. And uh, um, uh, the, the, um, from the museum, let me say, from, uh, they, they told us they are, they are from the Turkish, Turkish because the Turkish uh, uh, in, in Austria, also in this part of Austria, and there was big walls about in mm -hmm. the this small city, and they shoot against the wall, and also shoot against the wall of this house. And we find, therefore, we find this, these balls, and uh, this uh, sign, if we open this house, we invited the, the, the Turkish ambassador from Austria and say, okay, you shoot centuries before against our house with the cannon, with his, with his uh, stones again. And now I say, it's okay. Give me, <laughs> make a handshake and it's over. And therefore we make this, this tabelle. How beautiful is that? <laughs> How wonderful. It's to understand. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's wonderful. Can yeah. you say that yeah, in German? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, wie das, das Denkmalamt, das Bundesdenkmalamt, uh, das natürlich hier im Haus uh, unterwegs war, uh, wie wir es restauriert haben, uh, hat uns gesagt, dass diese Steinkugel, die wir, die Kugel, die wir entdeckt haben, von der Zeit der türkischen uh, uh, Eroberung war, also wo auch die Türken hier in Wiener Neustadt waren. Und diese Kugeln wurden also hier im Keller oder im Fundament entdeckt. Und das war dann mein Anliegen, sie hierher zu bringen, diese Kugel. Und wir haben dann äh, den, den türkischen, äh, türkischen Konsul in Wien mhm. eingeladen und haben ihm gesagt, also wir das war ein sehr lustiger, lustiger Abend, wir verzeihen ihm, dass damals hunderte Jahre früher die Türken gegen unser Haus geschossen haben und haben, haben hier eine kleine Feier äh, gehabt. Und das war wirklich sehr persönlich und sehr lieb. Und dieses Schild... Uh, is, st steht das hier geschrieben, was wir damals gemacht haben. In der Südwand des Hauses wurde diese Kanonenkugel gefunden. Das ist türkisch written, der kann so. Das ist in, im Sommer 1683 zerstörten äh, kriegerische Janitschan, türkisch Bibel, Wiener Neustadt, und diese, von diesem Krieg stammen diese Steinkanonen Kugeln. Okay, so what is this? Yeah, this is a, a very old idea from the Middle Age. Uh, it's uh, now if we have problem with the length and breathing, we take medicaments or make inhalation. This is we built, we rebuilt it. This is an old inhalation. The the people bring water up, bring water up salt water and let the salt water run over the leaves and the, the, the drops are splitting and it's here in this uh, surrounding you can uh, inhalate 
salt water and also the things in the leaves come out. Yeah, if mm -hmm. water drops are falling down, and this is for inhalation for my time. Wow. <laughs> but it didn't work again, but we, we, we rebuilt it. We, we want to show how it, mm -hmm. how it works. Can you say that in German? Yeah. Also, uh, das ist ein, eigentlich ein riesiges Inhalationsgerät, das wird Hildegard von Bingen uh, schon verwendet hat, wo ein Salzwasser über Blätter, das sind jetzt uh, überwuchert von, schön überwuchert von, von Efeu, uh, ursprünglich uh, gehört dann an Reisigen gespannt und dieses Salzwasser ist über dieses Reisig drüber geflossen und ist natürlich durch diese spitzen Nadeln äh, zerstäubt worden und die Leute haben ihr inhaliert und das war also wie gesagt eine Inhalation aus der uralten Zeit. Well, here I am. It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm standing here with candlelight because I wanted to walk around this monastery to see what it looked like for the old monks when they were walking around here in candlelight. I can't walk around the whole place because everybody's sleeping right now, but I just wanted you to see in candlelight what this would have looked like for monks back in the 14th and 15th century. Here's the old lamp that I had showed you earlier. Here's what a painting might have looked like in candlelight. Of course, it's very difficult to see the room. Let's set this down. Here's what the chair, let me see if I can get this. No, you can barely see anything. This is what the chair would have looked like in candlelight. And here's our, our, um, little altar with our crucifix. That's what it looks like in candlelight. Our books. And this letter box, you can see. This is what it would have looked like in candlelight. So. That's it for my time in the monastery. It was quite interesting. The workshop was great. Everybody enjoyed it. We have another half day this morning. It's Sunday. It's October 2nd. And um, I will be leaving tomorrow to go to Poland. So I'll probably add a little bit more of a video to this trip. Uh, as we drive back to the house where I'll be staying tonight before I go to the airport tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.